Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hey, I'm Taylor. Nice to see you. Nice to meet you. I hope you stick around and subscribe. And today I'm going to be filming my monthly favorites video. Now I just filmed, I feel like I just filmed my yearly favorites video at the beginning of January and now it's already the end. Uh, where's this year going already? I am going to include products that I've really been loving for the month of January. The more things that I got in January, January and started using and fell in love with. If you guys like the video, if you like monthly favorites video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below for more of my videos. And I have some products here, so let's just get started. The first thing that I want to talk about has really caught my attention in the month of January. It is the Too Faced Christmas in New York. Uh, this is their palette that they came out with for Christmas. And at first I wasn't that keen on it. Like I liked it a lot and I thought it was very interesting and stuff. But I've recently just been digging into this literally every single day. And it's mainly because of two products in here. Actually three I would say. I've been loving this blush right here. This is Chocolate Covered Strawberry. It is so good. And then I also have Inner Light in this palette, the highlight. I just recently featured this in my Instagram versus real life video. So if you haven't watched that, go watch it. I'll link it below. And this highlight. Let me just watch it for you guys. It is so pretty. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can see that. But that is one swatch. And it is so so pretty it's like a golden but pink it's like a rose gold color i would say and then also it's been this chocolate co ch chocoholic color right here i've been loving that just to for my everyday makeup just putting it in the crease and putting some mascara on and running out the door loving this palette a lot but for a palette that I want to make a fun look for, and it is the Tardis Pro palette. It is by Tarte. This also was one of their holiday launches, and I have been digging into this also. It is so pretty, especially these reflective colors over here. They're so gorgeous. And then all of these colors are just perfection honestly and it smells really good i wasn't expecting this but i saw on twitter where someone was talking about the smell and i was like i've never smelled it before but the next day that i was using it i was like oh, it smells like vanilla honestly mm, it's vanilla mixed with something i can't put my finger on it but it's bomb go get it Tarte has some awesome, awesome, awesome formulas on their shadows. They're not too crazy chalky and dust, and they're not, not pigmented. Like, this is good. This is good stuff. I like it. I've been using this foundation every single day. I bought it in my most recent haul, uh, the huge drugstore slash high-end haul, and it is the Rummel London Lasting Finish 25 Hour with Comfort comfort serum broad spec i can't talk today but broad spectrum spf 20 sunscreen this is in 100 ivory because i'm really light right now so that's what the bottle looks like this stuff is so freaking good i would compare it definitely i'm not wearing it today i just keep looking at my lips just because they're not as red as i wanted them but it's okay i have been wearing this so much lately and i feel like as soon as i run out i'm gonna have to go grab another bottle because it is good you need it if you can find it i think i mentioned it in another video also but i can't remember so i'm just gonna say it right now i love this stuff i'll continue to love it probably hopefully keep our fingers crossed on that because you never know Okay, so the next product I've been loving is a bronzer, and I'm just like pulling these randomly. I'm not really going in a specific order because they're all just kind of sitting here and looking at me, and so yeah. I have been loving the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. You guys, this is such a good bronzer. Oh, I almost dropped it. I love, first of all, the packaging is just goals because it has this little button here, and you just click it. And there it is. I don't like how it flips up like that, but it's okay. I love the packaging. It's gorgeous. 
it smells like coconuts it smells like sunscreen that's what it reminds me of and being at the beach and everything and it just gives the most perfect bronze to your face like it's not too orange it's not too it's not too brown like it's just the perfect bronzer and i am obsessed okay so next for a setting powder i have re-fallen in love with one of my ride or die setting powders for the under eyes and it is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contour Palette in Dulce de Leche. I used this in one of my, it was my other Valentine's Day makeup tutorial and ever since I haven't been able to stop using this setting powder. I have it on today and it is just so good. I love this a lot. You can get it at CVS, Walgreens, Target, any place that has Wet n Wild, even Walmart. And it is just, as you can tell, I've used it so much and I highly 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 recommend this. The next product that I've been using a lot lately is the L'Oreal Magic Lumi Light Infusing Primer. I love this whenever I just want a subtle glow to my face and I don't want to use my mattifying professional primer and it is just great for putting under my skin every day. I use it with the Rimmel London foundation and it has been doing wonders. I love how it looks and I will be continuing to use this on into February probably. It'll be something that I just tried like literally a couple days ago maybe and it is this new L'Oreal sponge. Oh my gosh you guys. I just tried this and I can already tell I'm completely and 100% dedicated to this. This is, it just has the perfect shape. <laughs> it's so good and I love it a lot. So, highly recommend this. Another favorite that I have to have to have to mention is a brush. It is the only brush that I absolutely cannot live without and it is this nice e.l.f blending brush I love this so much like this is my favorite it will always be my favorite perfect I could not live without this so yeah I feel like that is it for my favorites I didn't want to mention products that I just mentioned in my yearly favorites so that's why I kind of don't have as many products this time around um, but stay tuned for next month because I should have a lot more and I hope you guys like this video if I haven't said it yet give it a thumbs up and also subscribe down below and without saying anything else I will see you guys in my next video bye guys